Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Diamond Hughes. This is an update on the issue of 12 Sunday bow hits that were granted bills some days ago, despite the fact that the activists have met all their bills times and conditions, the lawless DSS has refused to let them go. The lawyer to the activists is sounding an alarm and the lawyer is telling the world how lawless the notorious Nigeria DSS her. And the judge in the case has given her firm word to the secret police telling them if those activists are not released within 48 hours they will face contempt of court charges and this message is directly directed to the director general of DSS. Let's get to it. All right. The DSS has continued to hold the activist in an underground cell despite perfecting their bail conditions. Human rights lawyer Pelumi Olajengbesi, who is defending the 12 detained associate of Yoruba nation right activist Chief Sunday Adeyemo Igboho has given the Department of State Services 48 hours to release them in line with the court order that granted them bail. The DSS has continued to hold the activist in an underground cell despite perfecting their bail conditions. This can happen only in a banana republic in a failed state that have no respect for the rule of law and for civil authorities. To the DSS and their enablers, what matters to them is the power that emanates from the barrel of gun. And it is well known that power corrupt, but absolute power corrupt absolutely and this will not be allowed to happen and fester in the democratic environment Ola Jengbesi, while addressing journalists at a press conference in abuja on friday gave the director general of the service 48 hours to fully obey and comply with the release order of the court in favor of all 12 detained associates of Igbo or face contempt proceeding before the court. My God. I don't, I don't, I can't believe it that Nigeria has descended so low, it has gotten to this level that ordinary appointee, ordinary appointee of a politician will be disobeying instruction, order, ruling of a court of competent jurisdiction. Only in Nigeria, only in the banana republic, things like this happen in Afghanistan, Rwanda, Somalia, and all other banana republics. And this is what Buhari has turned Nigeria into. Okay, let's go there. He said, it has become imperative and urgent to make this brief address in light of the vindictive and oppressive conduct of the state security services in the matter involving 12 detained associates of Yoruba Nation activists, Chief Sunday Adeyemo, also known as Chief Iboho. In the wee hours of the 1st of July 2021, 
a joint team of men from the state security service and the Nigerian military, with neither lawful cause nor a warrant of arrest, broke into the Ibadan home of the Yoruba nation activist popularly known as Chief Igboho and extrajudicially murdered two of his associates while rounding up, bounding and abducting 12 others to be incarcerated without cause in the dungeons of the SSS where they continue to languish without reprieve up to this day. All the 12 detaining who were immediately subjected to degrading conditions of detention and torture degrading condition of detention and torture were denied access to their lawyers by the DSS up until the intervention of the court through an order recognizing and re-emphasizing the detainee's right to legal representation against whatever allegation against them. Regrettably, and it did unacceptably why no charges in full or tentatively have been preferred against all 12 detainees. The SSS have failed and refused to honor an order of court which granted a bill to and order the release of all 12 detainees upon the perfection of the times of their bill which have now been fully satisfied and duly communicated to the DSS. The refusal of the SSS to honor a clear order of court, although habitual, is not only worrisome and unacceptable, but is an affront on the authority of the court and our entire judicial system. Such blatant disregard for and contemptuous, spiteful, and insolent disrespect of an order of court, if allowed to fester, will undermine the very integrity of the court and breed even newer levels of rascality by state agents. It will also amount to surrendering the freedom and right of all 12 detaining to the whims and caprices of an agency that has gone rogue and thrived in willful disobedience of court orders. In the light of the foregoing, we are giving the DSS, particularly its Director General, Malam Yusuf Bishi, we are giving him 48 hours and not an hour more within which to fully obey and comply with the release order of the court in favor of all the detained 12 associates of Chief Sunday Adiyamo Igbo or face contempt of court you will face this contempt of court before a court of competent jurisdiction with the full weight and recompense of the court brought to bear against its insolence and disregard of court order take notice we will not fail to exhaust all legal and social remedy available to the detainees in enforcing their right in this matter and setting the tone against the SSS notorious disregard of due process and the rule of law. That is what the judge in this case said. And it should not bother Nigerians that these people are behaving like this uh, B. She is a full animal man from Kano State. He's not qualified for the job. He got the job on the on the platter of ethnicity, full ani, full ani, full ani. And um, we know that DSS are so so brainless and so so disgusting to the extent that they went to disrupt the recruitment of medical doctor by Saudi Arabian authorities. Does that make any sense to you? So nobody should be surprised that these people are behaving like this. It is it's their life. They have no respect for civil authority. The only respect they have 
is for bush bush business really of cattle in the bush killing and raping in the bush that is what they, they are known for you should not be surprised that full and near low lives i'm very sorry who on earth will be elected a president and he will be behaving the way Buhari is behaving sponsoring terrorism against your own people journalists cannot speak again in their studio Journalists cannot conduct interview with any any, any host, any, any any guest, any expert they like. Everything has to be censored. This is dictatorship. This is not democracy. Buhari is a disgrace to humanity. We were complaining that the, of the one that have, sh have no shoe. Now, the one that has no brain has taken over the authority of Nigeria. Full and everywhere. Is Nigeria a full and republic? Why can't they behave and do the right thing only once? Anyway, common sense is not common. So, the, the judge has given a word. So, either be she likes it or not, he got to comply or he will face the consequence. It is high time for B. She to be arrested, be handcuffed and be brought to the court himself and let him face the bitter pill that he has been dishing to other Nigerians. Your, 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 your Fulani brother cannot rule Nigeria with justice and equity. Those doctors, they want to seek greener pasture abroad. Still, you send your guys to go there and disrupt and, and shoot people there. What is Nigeria turning into? Nobody has voted Bishi Yusuf to any post in Nigeria as, as long as I can remember. The last time I checked, nobody voted for Bishi. Buhari just appointed him from somewhere because of his fuller name, fuller name, patron, uh, patronage, nothing more. So it's high time B she behave himself and, and act like a decent human being. That's how he went to Ibadan to go and kill Yorubas, go and destroy the, the home of Shifson Daddy Amoibo. That's That case is still in court and he's still misbehaving again everywhere. Is he, is he suffering from mental problems or somebody has caused him or something like this? He should be very careful with the Yorubas or else they will show him how to behave in a civilized society. This is not a full and territory. Yoruba land is not a full and territory. The earlier, the better. How do you, no, no sensitive human being should behave like that. You are dealing with somebody of another tribe in a, in a, in a, in a, in a multi-ethnic country. It's Fulani here, Fulani yes, man, Fulani bandit, Fulani Boko Haram, Fulani killer, Fulani kidnapper, Fulani rapist. Every bad thing must be attributed to the Fulanis. And you people are not ashamed of yourself, bitch. Your brothers are raping in the bush, killing the bush, attacking the NDA, attacking in, 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 in Plateau State, killing in Makodi, killing in Nasarawa, killing in Kasina, killing in Sanfara, and you are killing also in Abuja with your foolish DSS. Somebody must speak some senses to these animals, calling themselves DSS. Somebody must speak some sense to their heads, these animals in human skin. The earlier, the better this, this, this motherfucking shit they call Nigeria be broken to pieces. Let everybody go to their homes and let the full animal begin to do their, their, their rubbish in where, wherever they have their land. And now your boy is asking for us to give you land. To do what? To continue your criminality? Never will Yoruba land seed one inch of their land to the Fulanis. Let Buhari be seeking his gracing route and his gracing whatever he is looking for. Let him continue. Let Buhari continue looking for his gracing route that, that his, his grandfather lost. The gracing route that his grandfather lost, let him begin to look for it. Gracing area. Why must everybody give Fulani land? Where is the original land of the Fulan? Where is their own ancestral land? The Fulan is. Let them go to their own ancestral land. Nonsense. Once again, this is Diamond Hills. We hit the nails on the head, irrespective of who us is God. That is what we are. We continue to speak the truth, no matter what they think. We don't give a damn. We speak it the way they are. Please subscribe to this channel. Drop your comment and press the notification bells. This will afford you the opportunity.
to see whenever we upload any new content. Alright, have a nice day. See you next time. Bye.